Autonomic dysreflexia is a serious medical condition that can affect people with a spinal cord injury, particularly above the T6 level. You should be aware of the symptoms of AD and know what to do about it. Autonomic dysreflexia is caused by a harmful or unpleasant stimulus, such as a pressure sore or a full bladder or bowel. Different people experience different symptoms, and you may notice a variety of signs, including goosebumps, flushing, unusual sweating, dizziness, nausea, lightheadedness, and a sudden painful headache. In every case, though, autonomic dysreflexia is accompanied by a sudden spike in blood pressure to a level much higher than what is normal for you. It's important to find out what stimulus is causing the dysreflexia and relieve or remove it. So, if you find yourself experiencing these symptoms, you should begin by inspecting your skin for signs of pressure sores and checking whether you need to drain your bladder or empty your bowel. If you're not able to resolve the issue and end the episode of autonomic dysreflexia within an hour, or if you develop a headache or chest pain, you should call 911. Problem solving is a useful way to deal with situations when you're not sure what to do. Here's a handy five-step method for solving problems you encounter with your skin. Step one, identify the problem. Start by getting a clear picture of what's wrong. Before you jump to conclusions, take the time to investigate. Inspect your skin thoroughly and pay special attention to areas you might normally overlook. Step two, find the cause. Once again, you want to be thorough. Look at your equipment, clothes or shoes, and think about any activities or circumstances that may be causing the problem. Does it have to do with the way you transfer? Or does it result from sitting on an unusual surface, like a car seat? Step three, brainstorm solutions. Using the information you have, think of a number of possible solutions. You may be able to address the problem yourself and prevent the situation from getting worse. In some cases, though, the only solution is to get help. Step four, try one and evaluate results. Try one of the solutions you identified, starting with the one that seems best. If it works, great. Just make sure to follow up and ensure that the problem is truly solved. If it doesn't work, try another solution. You may need to repeat the step several times. Step five, know when to ask for help. Don't try to take everything on by yourself. When it comes to something as important as your skin, it's better to be safe than sorry. So when in doubt, ask for help. You should recognize the signs of a serious pressure sore that requires medical attention.